Hi guys, I'm Ryan O'Rourke and I'm back with another video. Today I'd like to talk to you not about painting, but about brushes. Because I made a video called How to Paint Fur, Feathers, and Animals. And in it I mentioned I made, or rather edited, a brush to make things more efficient. And I received so many questions about it in the comments and on my Facebook page that I thought I'd just have to make a video. So, the brush in it that I use and am going to talk about is this. Essentially, it's a normal brush, however, I cut increments out of it. Why did I do that? Why did I ruin a perfectly good brush? Because when I used that brush and I made a stroke, I made one stroke. And I was really fed up with painting grass, fur, and feathers with single strokes. It seemed like there had to be such a, there had to be an easier way to do it, a more time effective way of doing it. So what I did, I got out my scissors and I cut the brush and I cut different increments out of it. In doing so, now instead of using my brush on the canvas, I didn't make one stroke, I made five or six. So it cut the time down so efficiently and really it's just a way of making things easier so you can spend your time focusing on more of the creative aspects as opposed to the boring and mundane repetitive aspects of painting. So, I hope you guys enjoy. First of all, if you're using a smaller brush, I would highly recommend using very small scissors so your cuts can be more accurate. You can generally find something similar to this at a dollar store, specifically in a self-grooming kit. So it's cheap and you can pretty much find it everywhere. If you're using a larger brush for a project, then feel free to use larger scissors, such as these. However, I used a smaller brush in both this video and in the previously referenced painting, so keep that in mind. As I mentioned previously, you can't really mess up. In the worst case scenario, you may cut your brush unevenly. This isn't really even a bad thing though. If the brush isn't exact, it means the grass or fur won't be exact, which is normal. It's very rare that every piece of grass or fur has the exact same density and length, right? So the inconsistency actually adds a bit of realism to it, and you may even want to purposely cut it unevenly. I would advise using a harder bristled brush. So you know how generally you can buy soft, medium, or hard? I definitely advise using a hard. If you use a soft brush when you put paint on the brush, the bristles may bunch up and blend together, thus ruining the small streaks you intended to make. By using a harder brush, you ensure that the strokes will remain separate because the weight from the paint won't collect and bend these bristles together. They will remain hard and in their place as you want them to. So cutting the brush is actually extremely simple. I picked a spot on the brush, put my scissors a fair distance down from the top, and made a little cut. The distance will vary depending upon the size of brush you use. However, you can generally guess by simply estimating how much of the brush you intend to dip into the paint. Just make sure when you dip the brush in the paint, only the tips of the brush that weren't cut acquire paint. Also, it's good to remember, you can always go back and cut more of the brush away. However, you can't add it back on. So in the beginning, I would highly advise you to begin to cut sparingly. So cut a little bit, try it, perhaps cut a little bit more. Because you can't step backwards, but you can always cut a little bit more. Again, even if this doesn't go extremely well, the inconsistency it will create will probably just create more of a realism, so don't worry about it. Again, you can't really mess this up. I'm going to repeat this process three to four times, each time leaving some of the bristles intact so it gets a fork-like shape. If you're having troubles getting the scissors into the brush, you can always peel back some of the bristles as I have. This makes it easier to see what you're doing and be more exact with it. You can actually buy brushes pre-made like this. They are called rake brushes. However, I make my own for a number of reasons. The first being, when I began doing this, I had no idea they existed. The second is that I have more control over the inconsistencies and shape of it. Because when you buy them, they're fairly perfect. 
and I don't really want to use a brush like that because I do rely on the inconsistency of cuts that I make and you can also play with the amount of space in between each um, stroke that you're going to make so I think it actually uh, benefits you to make your own and to make it in the context of what you're going to paint and there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like other brush tips or rather unorthodox painting methods, let me know and I'd be more than happy to make another video. I was thinking about maybe showing you guys how to paint with tissue or with a sponge or with uh, cloth. A bunch of different options. Let me know what you think and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that helped, and if you have any questions at all, I highly advise you to leave a comment in the comment box, or if you need a more urgent reply, you can like my Facebook page in the description and message me there, because I'm on there much more frequently than I'm on YouTube. So if you would like uh, immediate attention or a critique of what you're doing, please feel free to send me a message, I'd be more than happy to help. And by the way, I do these painting tutorials weekly. I will have a new video for you guys next week. So please join this uh, little art community. Thank you guys for watching and take care.